What do you do for a living, Mr. Sinclair? Currently, I run a nonprofit in Cocoa building affordable housing. Now, in 2008, when Obama announced his candidacy for president, you made some explosive allegations about him that dated back to some events that occurred in 1999. Is that the year that you met Barack Obama? It is. Where did you meet him? Outside of a bar in Chicago. What were you doing? I was on a night out. I had asked a limo driver if he knew anyone that would be interested in showing me around the town. And it was clear for the limo driver that I was looking for someone to enjoy the night with. The introduction was made through the limo driver. And what happened? Uh, we had a few drinks. Uh, I had made some comments about wanting Coke. So we got in the limo and left. And we started drinking. I started snorting. He started smoking. I actually put my hand on his knee and started to rub up his thigh, and I performed oral sex on Barack Obama. The following day, I actually get a knock on my hotel room door in Gurney, Illinois, only to find Barack Obama standing in front of it. He had actually come back for seconds. I performed oral sex on him in the hotel room at the Comfort Inn and Suites in Gurney, Illinois. Were there drugs involved on the second night as well? There was. Who produced those? He actually brought those with him. Now, Obama at that time was a state senator. I actually had no idea who he was. And then when did you find out that it, it was Barack Obama? Watching the 2004 DNC convention. Thank you very much, everybody. God bless you. Thank you. And it hit me. And I'm, at the time, I was just kind of floored. Good afternoon. My name is Montgomery. Blair Sibley, I'm the attorney for Larry Sinclair. Now you have this press conference. I performed fellatio on Senator Obama in the limousine during the time Senator Obama was smoking crack cocaine. After the press conference, you are arrested. By the D.C. Police Department upon the orders of Bo Biden, Attorney General for Delaware. So this is Joe Biden's son, Bo Biden. It is. Apparently he had a grand jury indictment from two weeks after I went public on Obama accusing me of theft that never took place. Shortly before you made these public allegations about Obama, you were contacted, you say, by a man named Donald Young. Donald Young was the choir director in Jeremiah Wright's church in Chicago. This is the church Obama attended. Exactly. And what did Donald Young tell you? That he too had intimate relations with Barack Obama and had for, for years. And that I needed to protect myself, that they were going to come after me. What happened to him? He was shot point blank in his apartment in Chicago. The murder was never solved? No, it wasn't. Donald Young's mother subsequently made a public comment, I believe reported in one of the tabloids. What did she say? She wanted to know why her son had to die to protect his friend, the president, which was referring to Barack Obama.